Welcome back to the channel guys, Tune and 7 mods here, back with another video for you today. And today, we'll be installing a very lightweight pressure washer hose. It's from Uberflex, let's jump into it. Here we got the hose, it's a Uberflex, as you can see by purples. It's a quarter inch hose, and it goes up to 3100 PSI. And it takes up to 140 degrees of hot water, which is extremely high, but I would never go to that level. Now, it's this one is actually 50 feet, that's why I actually bought it, and it's lightweight, it weighs less than um, three and a half pounds. So, I will leave a link down into the description. Now, here is where you actually need to watch out. There's threading here, which is an M22 thread, 22 millimeters, obviously, and Depending on what machine you're using, you actually can run into some issues, which I'll be solving for you in this video. I got this Sanjo. It's a not a great machine, but it does over 2,000. Actually, it's at 2,000 psi, which does the job to wash my car. So and clean the floors around the house nothing too crazy i'm not a contractor so very great to have at your house now this m22 thread will fit right here but this hole right here is actually an m15 and the hose that we got with this uberflex hose is an m14 so you need to find an adapter Believe me, there's a gazillion of adapters. Let me show you. Guess what? I've been working, doing a bunch of research about all these connectors, and I actually bought a new spray gun also. I bought all of these. I think there was more. Let me see here. Here they are. So, I got all of these connectors, finally, I only needed this one and this one. I'll tell you why. If you wanna solve your issue, keep watching right here. If not, if you wanna see how um, I will use this for the first time, which I haven't done yet, skip to this minute and then we'll go from there. Now, if you're here, this M22 thread will fit here on this cord, but this will transition an M50, M14 or actually the water from an M15 to this M14 hose. Now I bought this gun of Amazon. Very cheap, very lightweight, a lot of great reviews from it. It comes plain. Let me show you what plain means. For less than 25 bucks it comes like this. Very nice and handy but Guess what? It will not fit. It will not fit with the multi-pack that you just regularly can buy for around 20 bucks off Amazon. Which I will leave the exact accessories or connectors that you really need for this system. If you have a dis different system, send me a message on Instagram. I may be able to help you. Now for the thread down here, I would I had to buy this specific connector. So this one goes right here. I haven't used it yet, that's why I will put some Teflon tape right there before I do anything. And this you will find in the $20 pack together with this to adjust right here. Boom. Now on the front part you will need to buy another one. This one has a slightly different thread. It's a quarter inch. So it's a quarter inch by a 3.8 quick connect. This one only comes in a two pack, so I have the leftover right here. Guys, I'm not a plumber, I'm not an electrician. I had a gazillion of these connectors already, but none of them matched for what I needed. So now I got a few extra ones, and all of these I will need to return, which that's a different problem. Now, my quick connect will need to go to my chemical guys spray gun. And this is only one quarter, so the 3.8 will be too big. So that's why I had to separately buy this one, which is one quarter, and will fit right here. It's hard to do with one hand, but 
there we go and it quick connects so I'm gonna mount it back again and then we're gonna get going for the install on the Sanjo machine okay let's put the tape on it now this one goes right here This one will go on one side of the hose. I'm gonna put the Teflon tape right here again. There we go. And this one will go on one side here. Perfect. Now let's do this part. Good. Now the reason I went for this gun is because guess what? It's extremely small, nice quick connect system, which I mean you need to attach it, but it swivels, which and the gun that came with the pressure washer doesn't swivel so this will help everywhere around the car okay let's do the other side now that will be connected to the pressure washer good and this one goes right here Perfect. Now this side is a quick connect because this one will be connected to the pressure washer. Let's go there. I had to go to my GoPro mount. So if you guys see right here, this is one of the issues I got already. Every time I need to do something, all these hoses get wrinkled. I need to spin it around so I can actually stretch it out. As you guys can see, here I got my electrical to that side and my water supply from over there. So, I need to position this as close as possible. Look how dirty my car is. So, once I do this, I can keep going around the car and look where my reach is. Right here, I cannot clean the front part of the car. For you guys, eh? oh, Richard, you're doing lazy. You can just move it. Yes, I can move it. Obviously, look at this. Then I'm like, ah, okay, I can do it. I mean, sometimes you just want to wash the car, you're in a hurry. Then when I'm done on one side, I need to run, go to the other side, go all the way here, almost trip around all the wires come back so I can reach the other side now this new cord will solve the majority of the problems now the electrical not so much that will stay there but at least I don't have to be spinning all these cables around so let me switch and show you the connection here just disconnected the original gun that came with this pressure washer which we're not gonna use anymore and we're gonna attach this one now let me put the teflon tape right there also i put the teflon tape already ready now we're gonna do screw this m22 quick release connector and convert the 15 to a 14 that will actually match the uberflex there we go we found the thread You 
don't want to over tight it but go nice and snug now another pro benefit right now I have a quick release boom I'm done if one day I have another quick release right here as I showed you guys already and in case for my gun or anything you know what I'm ready to go let's try this out we got everything we're gonna turn the compressor on oh. you saw the mess that started to happening I had to put way more Teflon tape to seal it very nice and this one make sure it's very tight very tight and now everything is working great look at this so any easy quick connect 40 degrees which I typically use to rinse the car off you're gonna just hook it up here and we're ready to go now I got 50 feet of hose that I can actually just walk all the way across now I would still need to deal with this not sure if it's because the hose is new it's the first time having water run through it so I will let you guys know in the future if this becomes an issue but let's see okay it looks to be fairly well stretched now I can actually pretty much walk around my whole car look at this now I will keep using it and let me give you guys a little bit of a foam see how it creates the bubbles so we're gonna remove this one here and attach the gun Need to attach and adjust the pressure there we go the pressure is pretty good not too shabby not too shabby so so far like I said it's doing its thing I can see the hose still I will need to stretch it out completely clean it make sure everything is doing good but there you guys go so I will keep finishing and cleaning the car right now I'm gonna train some jiu-jitsu so other than that thank you guys very much for watching please like comment subscribe if this video was useful please let me know down in the comment and I'll get you guys in the next one out oh. I can actually do everything and it won't even kinkle look at this very nice very nice